they keep sending this guy out here. This guy. Better. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, I asked for the FOIA officer. Are you FOIA officer now? He's not here today. Okay. Well, I'm supposed to pick up some correspondence. I don't know where he is. You just tried to call? Okay. So when you went back there, I thought you said someone was going to help me. No one came out though. Okay, that's fine. I'm sorry about that, but I, well, I'm just saying it's kind of it's kind of weird that you would say someone's coming to help. Name, sir? So I can try to help okay, can I can I finish saying what I was going to say? Um, it, it was kind of weird that you said when you left from there, you said someone was coming to help. No one did, and then you came in. You talked about about the whole uh, battery thing when the guy was charged with an ordinance, and I want to see how do I go by getting him officially charged with a state violation because he, we, we understand he violated the city ordinance, but he also violated me as well. So how do I get, how do I, what channels or steps do I take? Well, obviously yeah, we'll probably have to go through. Tyrant Terminator! Tyrant Terminator! Tyrant Terminator! Tyrant Yo, what's good, TTA family? Back at y'all with another one. So, yeah, today we are back. The Lake County Sheriff Department. If you guys can remember, we filled out a FOIA. And we put on the FOIA uh, for Espionosa's last illegal drug test results, man. Y'all make sure y'all check this clip out right quick. Uh, this, real, this real quick clip for a recap. Check it out. I'll review this and I'll go to our legal counsel if there's different responses for how you're wording this. Mm -hmm. Again, right now, I feel like it's still going to be denied. I'll confirm with them and then make sure it's not complied with the state's okay? Okay, yeah, okay. Well, we, we go from there. I just need a stamp, copy, receive, and we'll be good to go. So, yeah, we put on there a legal drug test. Uh, one of the TTA family members, man, gave me a suggestion, uh, real quick, real good uh, advice, it's just in case. And I think they denied this one as well. So basically saying instead of putting the word dr drug test on there because they're trying to claim that it might be medical, I should write toxicology. I think that's a great idea because, like I said, we all know that toxicology is not, uh, it shouldn't be considered a medical exam. So we're going to go toxicology test results uh hopefully that'll work you know what i mean but i mean obviously they got something to, they got something to hide you know we're asking for why wouldn't you know members of the public want to know if law enforcement the people that we pay are out here uh not on illegal drugs why why wouldn't they be transparent why wouldn't they want to be honest about that it, it speaks it speaks volume so we're definitely trying to get down to the bottom of it and uh, we're definitely, we're going to. A lot of people might say, that's petty, man, leave it alone, man. Like, like as if they leave us alone. Nah, we, we, ain't, we ain't turning down nothing. We're going to follow through with everything. That's just what I do. That's what I'm going to continue to do. That's what I've been doing. So uh, we finna go in here and see. Y'all stay tuned. Hello. Hello, yes, the FOIA officer available. She said, oh shit, she's on camera. <laughs> wow. She, wow, I can't, can't make this stuff up, man. Can't make it up. And ma'am, real quick, while I'm waiting on the FOIA officers, that way you can um, give the sheriff's uh, secretary a ring to see if she's available for me to get on this calendar. All right. What happened? They're not in this department, so I have to call and see if they're there. Okay. Let me write you out. I don't know. 
I don't want to jump the gun, but might be irritated. It's my third time with this young lady. They should get used to it, so y'all stay tuned. They keep sending this guy out here. This guy. Better. All right. Okay. How can I help you? Um, I asked for the FOIA officer. Are you FOIA officer now? He's not here today. Okay. Well, I'm supposed to pick up some correspondence. Okay. That um, he or she had for me. So I guess it's a letter response into my FOIA. It's available. Okay. Thank you. Just one? Just one. There you go. All right. Appreciate it. Questions, comments, concerns? Um, not, not until I probably open and see the okay. contents and, and go from there. Do you need me to stay or can I go? Uh, well, yeah, you probably, because you, you wouldn't have any information about FOIA anyway. Just so. the messenger. Right, right. Okay. Well, that was pretty good. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yep. All right, TTA fam. We're going to read this letter. Go from there. Y'all stay tuned. All right, TTA fan, we read the letter, so. They're not answering. So what should I do? Because I need to really speak to someone. It's the third time they're coming down here and it's just not available for three straight weeks. That doesn't seem right. Yeah, well, they're not in this department. So what I can do is, I mean, take your phone number and speak to them. <laughs> wow, my phone number. Uh, they always say that. Um, yeah, no, that's not going to be much of a help if you can get someone else over here to help me i need to file another for you okay. yeah so that's crazy man it's my third time down here they're never available man that that's that just doesn't make any sense but the letter entails five ilcs 140 slash seven one b west two, 2016 allows a public body to withheld private information unless disclosure is required by another provision of this act, a state or federal law, or a court order. The term medical records is undefined in FOIA, but the PAC has interpreted it as applying to records relating to a particular patient documenting medical history, care and treatment, test results, diagnosis, and medications. See Illinois Attorney General PAC REV LTR 39535 issued May 11, 2016 at 3 laboratory drug test results exempt under section 71B and then they have how I can appeal it so like I said I'll fill out another FOIA and I'll put toxicology results and uh if they do in fact deny that one this time, then we'll just go through the PAC, the Public Access Counselor, Office of Attorney, Attorney General, out in Springfield, Illinois, and we'll just uh, peel it all the way up and go from there. Y'all stay tuned. There you go there. All right. Pen right there for you. I appreciate it. And then I'll give you a few minutes. I'll be right back. All right. All right. I'll fill this out for you out. Uh, we go from there, TTA family. Y'all stay tuned. All right, thank you. All right, appreciate it. All right, TTA family. I got a copy of our for you. We'll go from there, but uh, we want to be able to see. It's gonna be uh, how's it gonna go, man? But uh. We got a we got we got a two for one for y'all today. Definitely a two for one. Uh, if you guys can remember, man, about a week or so ago, I was supposed to meet with the mayor, with the mayor of Waukegan, to see and complain about the detective that filed those charges, city ordinance type of charges, and uh, with the battery, the whole battery thing, child support. You guys remember me having a phone call with her, with uh, Ann Taylor, may, the mayor's secretary that day. Y'all check this clip out real quick for a recap. Yes, uh, oh, this is Katrina, and this is not Maria. Uh, this is Victoria, this is not Maria, she's on vacation. Okay, Victoria, uh, however, yeah, I think the young man down here was trying to help me 
and assist me in terms of trying to speak with Mrs. Ann Taylor. However, it's been conveyed to me that she's in meetings all day today. Okay, so what's basically what I want to do uh, with you then, if you can, look up on her availability in terms of her calendar this month. So that way I can just set an appointment right now with you so we don't have to keep coming back down. Perfect. Are there dates that you prefer or anything? Like um, any day that she's available. The first day would be great. One o'clock on Wednesday looks to be her next appointment. One o'clock this Wednesday? Correct. Yeah. Uh, one o'clock Wednesday would be great. Perfect. And then can I get your name and phone number so that I can let her know? So exactly. So you see I had that phone call with her secretary. They set me up to meet with her that following Wednesday. However, she had gave me a ring back. The secretary did. And she told me she was like, uh, Mrs. Ann Taylor, Taylor, the mayor wants to know what is this concerning? So I tried to go around it because I already know I just felt some type of way if I tell him exactly what it's for, she would be evasive. Uh, but she persisted, so I ended up telling her that it's about the detective at the Waukegan Police Department uh, basically not investigating my bat the, uh, the battery thoroughly. So that's exactly what I told her. You know what I mean? I, I went into it a little bit more in terms of, the, you know, just the whole Waukegan Police Department being corrupt. And I would like to have a sit down with her and put her on notice of all uh, their conduct. And she she took the information down, called me back maybe 30 minutes later saying uh, the mayor and Taylor said that whatever problems you have with the Waukegan Police Department, any police related problems, deal with the police. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. And this is the mayor, right? This is their boss, right? So my thing is today, I'm gonna hike on over to the state's attorney's office and just see uh, how do we go by getting official charges on the guy because, okay, I get it. You, you guys wanna charge him with a city ordinance violation, right? In terms of battery. So that, don't, that doesn't mean nothing because I was battered as well. So that means you just violated city, you violated the city ordinance and the state statute. So how do we go about go about getting him charged under the state statute? And again, somebody, a lot of people might say that's being petty. Oh, man, he ain't like he beats you up. But my thing is, public servants, people that we pay, we not. I'm not letting nothing slide, man. Never going to let it slide. So if you're here watching, thinking I'm going to let anything slide, man, you might as well change the channel, man. You might as well change the channel. You know what I'm saying? Here, TTA, TTA family, we ain't, letting, we ain't turning down nothing. We're not letting them get away with anything. I don't care how minor something may seem. We we pursuing everything all the way through because that's what they do to us. Period. So y'all stay tuned, man. We on our way over to the uh, Lake County State's Attorney's Office. Let's go, Sheriff. Uh, what what? Yeah. What what floor is the State's Attorney uh, Office on? That's gonna be on the sixth floor, right, State's Attorney? Sixth floor. There you go. Yeah, it'll be on the sixth floor. Sixth floor. All right, appreciate it. Thanks a lot. So it's on the sixth floor. Add on up to floor six and see what's going on. Stay tuned, TTA fam. Hello. Huh? My name is James. I'm here to see if uh, Mr. is Mr. Aaron Reinhardt available. Uh, a young lady was trying to help me, I guess. I'm not sure, but I asked her, um, is there a way I can speak with Eric Reinhardt? She got up from this desk right here and she was like, give me a minute, but it's been several minutes. Okay. What's your name? Do you have a, do you have a meeting with him? Because if not, we'll have to take a message and have him contact you. Yeah, we've tried that multiple times. They're 
they're, they're not interested in getting back. That's why I figure I come down and speak. What's your name, man? PJ. PJ. Yeah, so that that's how that, you know, is going. Okay, so let me get your information. Now, that's, what, what, why do you need my information? Do you want to have an appointment with Eric? Well, yeah, he's not. So is he available to speak with? Because she, she went and looked for me. So maybe he's available. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's probably, I, I could probably guarantee because the other young lady never came back. Uh, they're peeking around the corner, smiling, like probably that's the guy. It's the First Amendment guy. So I can guarantee this lady's probably going to come back and say he's not available. We need to take down your information. Um, that's not going to work. And we can't speak to Mr. Eric Ryan Hart, which is the head state's attorney. Monique is probably speaking with an assistant. Everybody. So somebody has to be available. So, uh, guys, stay tuned. We'll see. Well, here she go right here. Okay, appreciate it. Somebody will be right with me. Wow. Okay, well, we'll see. Y'all stay tuned. Office. I don't know where he is. But I you just tried to call? Yeah. Okay, so when you went back there, I thought you said someone was going to help me. Right, ask him. Cause no one came him. out, though. I'm just saying it's kind of it's kind of weird that you would say someone's coming to help. Okay, can I can I finish saying what I was going to say? Uh, it was kind of weird that you said when you left from there, you said someone was coming to help. No one did, and then you came back to help. Right, so that's why I'm helping you now because no one else came up here. So I want to make sure you're getting what you need. Well, he's a state's attorney, right? He's an assistant, right? I mean, because if Eric Reinhardt's not available, any state's attorney at this point should suffice. Yeah, because he's the head. When I mean, if any other one is available, I, that that should work as well. Okay, what's your name, sir? James. Okay. In regards to, or um, I'll convey all that over to the uh, state's attorney that would be okay. willing to help me. We have quite a few state attorneys. Well, it doesn't matter. Just anyone that could a, a prosecutor. Just anyone that's available. Eric's not available. He's the head state's attorney in Lake County. He's not available. Uh, someone else should suffice. That you know, we'll go from there. I seen a young lady back there, right here, right where she, where that other lady walked to. The first one never came back, and then it's another lady back there right now, peeking around this open door, saying he's still there. He's still there. So at this point, and plus the other young lady that was just sitting here at this desk never came back. It just seems to me like they're not in likes of wanting to help, and, 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 you know, like wholeheartedly. You know, why didn't the first young lady come back? <laughs> then she told me somebody's going to be right with you here right there. Yeah, she's still looking, peeking around. So <laughs> it's crazy, man. This is crazy, man. Lake County, Illinois State's Attorney's Office. He's not in his office. Air Reinhardt's not, his, not in his office, even though it's 12 o'clock, it's lunchtime. Uh, maybe he's over in the courthouse or something. But like I say, any state's attorney at this point would be great. So uh, y'all stay tuned. We'll see. Can you believe it, TTA family? Since the last lady left, no one has returned to the desk at all. Uh, see, they think, they think they can get rid of you by saying no one's in the office. Uh, or Eric Reinhardt's not available. So just give me your information. And then as soon as I bring up the fact that I talk to any state's attorney, now it's like their hands are low. Let's see what she say. I'm sorry, sir. I contacted various state's attorneys who are not available. Can I take your name and have someone so, call you back? Because I just watched one walk past. Okay, so what I'm saying to you is they're not available. You didn't have a meeting. So can I take your information so someone can get back to you? Uh, well, like I said, I've tried that. Okay, I see that. So, so I, I, I think that would be uh, just... The runaround again. I, I don't understand why I'm keep well, keep getting the runaround. Wait. So what's who? who name and number, and someone will get back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now who who's Eric Reinhardt's secretary? Sir, can I just get your name and number so I can go on with my business, and so you can go on with your business, so I can get someone? I don't want to keep giving my name and number out. I, so I, you've already done that. I've done it several times. Okay. That's that's what I'm saying. Okay. Like, so one more time. What's your name I, so I can give? Someone the information so they can get back. To you me. know what? I'll, I'll take a FOIA request for him, and then I'll just FOIA everybody's to see where were they at today at this time to see if I'm being told the truth. We'll just go from there. So you want a FOIA request? Right. Got it. Okay, that's going to take me a second to look up because that's not my department. So 
I, okay. We'll go from there. We'll, we'll, we'll see how much of none of them were available. We'll see, we'll see precisely what they were doing at this specific time. And then we'll go from actually there. Let's start there. This is ridiculous, man. Y'all stay tuned, TTA fam. Wow. Yeah, first lady right there. She kept that. Look, that's the second lady. That's the lady right there that got up and never came back to her desk. <laughs> wow, this is crazy, man. Obviously, they know who I am. And just off that alone, they're not willing to help. Or they're willing to tell me no one's available. You know, Eric Reinhardt's the head state's attorney. He's not available. So you mean to tell me no state's attorney that works in this office is available? And obviously, we just seen one of them walk past. So there's some here. They're just not willing to speak to me. And we all know probably why. It's the camera. But uh, that, that just, it just speaks volumes, man. You know, it really, really does. But uh, stay tuned, TTA family. We'll see. Yes, I know that's in here. I can get that for you. Um, well, we're talking about working on getting a different form for you. Okay. What's your name? No problem. My name is Lauren. Lauren. Okay. Let me just see. It. Well, oh, here it is. And there's no like the the first young lady is her name PJ. Yeah. She yeah. said no one's available. No state's attorney is available to Let speak me with. Check on that for you, okay? Well, she's just telling me that real quick. Obviously, to get off a of camera, I can tell. You know, like you can kind of, you can already tell. She she says she's going to go back there and check on it, but think about it. I'm telling you that, you know, your coworker just said no one's available, but you're you're going. You say you're going to go check on. I think it was really to be <coughs> hurry up and get off the camera because that was the same young lady since I've been standing here about 35 minutes that's been peeking around that corner of that open door right there, whispering to someone else, "He's still here. He's still here." So. Uh, we'll see though. Yeah, stay tuned. Mm -hmm. This is already no. Um, that yeah. should be one of the requests. Uh, no, this is just instructions on how to file a request. This one is saying to do it online. I can't yeah. find a. Like I said, that's not my department. I can't find an official. It says do it through the portal. So maybe through the portal. Through. Well, you know what? I'll just fill it out on a blank sheet. I'll just fill it out back here and turn it in that way. That's fine too. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Cool. Just let us know when you're done. All right. So, yeah, uh, TTA family, there's no form, so we'll just fill it out on this blank sheet right here. And we'll go from here. Y'all stay tuned. Thank you, sir. This is it? Yeah, I just need a, um, for you to stamp, copy it, and can't stop the stamp that you received it. And... Yes. Excuse me, sir. Are you a, you a state's attorney? Yeah. Uh, what's, your name? Oh, what's your name? Matthew Stanton. Is there a way I can have a dialogue with you? Uh, I've got something I've got to do right now, but uh, so. I'm, what, but, I'm so sorry. when would it? Be, I mean, when will you be available? Uh, I don't. I don't know what you're referring to. Well, I just wanted to be able to speak to a prosecutor. About, I'm a victim in a in a case, and I was trying to wonder how do well, I why go don't by. Why you um, check in with these I did. People. I, I already my did. Way through, I, I'm not. Uh, I already checked in with him. Let me with you too. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Good? Yeah, I'm good. Oh. Oh. They tried to be slick. Tried to be slick, TTA family. So the floor we was just on, third floor state's attorney's office. It says reception. This is actually the state's attorney's office. So the reception is just upstairs. Okay, so we're going to try to see if we can go in here. Let's get this pick into one. They tried to be slick. You're a state's attorney, right, sir? Yeah, but this is a, this area gets up to three. Uh, yeah, I was just at three. Okay, this is now our receptionist, so can you please go up to three? Well, I need to speak with someone. Not here. You have to check in on three. Please go up to three. Why, why would I have to go to three? Because that's where our receptionist, sir. Please go up to I don't three. need to speak to three anymore. They, I'm locked. done with three. These doors are locked for our key cards. Please go up to three. These doors wasn't just locked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
so so I and so you guys have two offices, obviously, sec, third floor and second floor, right? Uh, we got offices all the way through. Because the, another state's attorney guy was just telling me that reception is on third floor. I, obviously, I do know that, but I was seeing if I can speak with somebody here. Uh, no, this floor, is, as you can see here, he's got to go to third floor. Really? Yes, sir. Wow. Okay. And then he said something about you guys keep this door locked for a key card. Yeah. But it, but it was it was just accessible. I don't know. I I know that when I'm done with it, as you can see, I'm going to be closing it. So I can't speak to anybody here. No. Because I really need. Basically, I really need to speak with someone with about the same case man you talked about about the whole uh, battery thing when the guy was charged with an ordinance, and I want to see how do I go by getting him officially charged with a state violation because he, we, we understand he violated the city ordinance, but he also violated me as well. So how do I get, how do I, what channels or steps do I take? Well, obviously yeah, we probably have to go through Waukegan PD. They're the ones that originally screened it. They're the ones that originally charged it. Yeah, I know, but they charged it with a, under the city ordinance violation. So he's, he's still, I mean, he violated both. He violated the city ordinance and the state statute. So how do what do I what do I do as a victim? Well, I, unfortunately, like I said, I don't know anything about that case. I mean, I'm the one that found out that it was the city ordinance. Right, right, of course. Know, but it, so you'll have to go back to Waukegan. I'm not sure who investigated what. Okay. I know that you said it was. Uh, it was, uh, it was a female. Di 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 something like that. Yeah. I can't pronounce her last okay. name. So, yeah. But I mean, ultimately that. That's where you're gonna to have to go. Back there. Yeah, unfortunately, sir, that's wow. where you gotta go because they're the ones that had the case. We, yeah, I know. You know, I, I just I, figured I could come straight directly to the state's attorney's office and probably speak with Mr. Eric Reinhardt to see if they can officially charge the guy. Well, but see, we don't have the case. That's what. Remember, I told you. I yeah. said, we don't know anything. We don't have any case files. There's no reports. We don't. Right. We don't know anything about that case. Maybe I need to speak to the chief of police. That Might is. have to, because I see right on the door, though, say special, you guys do specialize in victims, obviously. I'm that, so, uh, well, I appreciate you even standing here having a dialogue. I guess I'll hike on over to Waukegan and see what they say again. <laughs> well, good luck. All right, appreciate it. Uh, so y'all guys, y'all remember Tony, don't you? Yeah, so the other guy, man, he was trying to be real, like, you know, aggressive. Man. That's because, you know, man, if that's that's just, that's hey, it's still public property, man. And that office as well, regardless if reception is on the third floor. Now y'all stay tuned, TTA family. All right, TTA family. So we just getting up out of there, man. I love your vest. Oh, uh, thanks. Appreciate it. So we just getting up out of there, TTA family. And uh, you know, it just didn't really seem like the state's attorney's office office was willing to help at all giving me a bunch of run around want to take down my number again we already been through that y'all remember the little short guy tony man i know y'all remember him man we had that huge dialogue see like his his attitude is a little different after you guys jumped all up and down on him in the comments probably wouldn't read all those comments and you seen that tta family ain't gonna play games with him but he did speak to us right there you know uh, I, I think what i'm gonna have to do is literally go back to the waukegan police department i'm gonna try to set up a um I'm meeting with Deputy Chief, probably Chief Neal again. Uh, you know, about he's kind of he's more familiar with it. So we'll get on his schedule and maybe we can get the guy charged. Because like I say, he violated the ordinance. Okay, if that's what y'all want to say, but he's I was still violated as well. So I, I you violated both. You violated the city ordinance and the state statute. So we we we'll just have to go from there, you know what I mean? Uh definitely filled out our foyer so we're gonna we're gonna see exactly where all these state's attorneys was at at that time we're gonna see and uh we like i say we'll go from there man but for everybody that's tuned into the channel man i appreciate you guys wholeheartedly man love you guys this was just a real quick follow-up for y'all man you know i like to do the follow-ups keep y'all up to date you know that's what this is all about it ain't just about clicks and views trying to make money or anything like that it's, it's it's honestly about the transparency and these uh we holding our government officials uh, accountable and that's what we're gonna do that's exactly what tta family gonna do so we ain't gonna play games with them at all so man until the next time matter of fact oh yeah before i get before we close out y'all make sure y'all stay y'all stay tuned for sunday man uh our last video with the whole the lady at the post office making those you know making it about race and things like that we're gonna cover that i'm gonna cover that topic because a lot of y'all was kind of agreeing with what she was saying and and 
and I can understand a little bit. So we're going to actually cover that Sunday when we go live, 2 p.m. Central. Now make sure you see y'all lock in. So until the next time.